<laughs> Hi, I'm Patrick. This is Lloyd. And that is Corey. Together the Corey. we just got played. <laughs> the Corey. The Corey Winsita. Uh, we just got them playing Under League at the Cloak and Blaster. Join us for Under League. Under League. Under at the Cloak and Blaster. Patrick. All about actually make a breed. About Under League. Under League. In Under League, you are a breeder of monsters and beasts that you are breeding to fight in the underpits of Helgarten. Uh, in the game, you will have a bunch of creatures. You have a deck of 30, all identical. Um, and then you have a bunch of action cards. So on your turn, you're going to draft three creatures to put out in front of you to fight. All the other players are going to do the same thing. You take turns betting on creatures that you think are going to win and lose, which then comes into play later when you actually battle. Um, when you win fights, you gain uh, victory points based on winning the fight, on attacking, and if you bet correctly, you will get a strategy card. Um, in between rounds, you can gain more strategy cards and swap out creatures to get new creatures. Um, at any point, in between those rounds called preseason, if uh, someone has 20 points between their victory points and victory points uh, on their cards and equipment, they automatically win and the game is over. That is Under League in a nutshell. And Corey, if there's one thing you like most about Under League... Um, I actually like the most is, is uh, pitting the creatures against each other. That part's it's fun being able to choose amongst your opponents creatures and being able to choose which ones you want to hopefully win again or if you bet against one of your own creatures and you want to be sure that it loses you know having that option as opposed to like magic the gathering where i just attack you and you defend with something right you actually get to select your opponent in combat and then your opponent selects whether it's day or night because each creature has a different proficiency for day or night. Right. So you like that gladiator style. Right. And, and that's pretty action. much what actually happens when you're like, you might bet, oh, this guy's a weakling, I'm going to bet against my guy and win more money. Do you like movies about gladiators? Uh, sometimes. Well, Lloyd, if you had to pick one thing you like the most? I like the betting because it is a different... It's different than every other game. So every other game with monsters battling, Keyforge, Hearthstone, Magic, it's all about killing the other player. And this one, it's it's not necessarily about winning or losing. Although winning does get you victory points, the strategy cards you can only get by winning bets um, or betting correctly, not necessarily winning the bet, just winning the, the actual win-loss. So I think that adds a, an extra layer of complexity versus just, I'm going to kill your creature. I'm going to say you're both very, very wrong. And once I tell you what the best thing about this game is, you're both going to say you agree. The art... I don't agree. You're a liar! <laughs> the art is fantastic. It is it phenomenal is. in this game. And also, even the, the naming of the creatures, I think, is pretty darn fantastic too. But the art is delectable, delightful, immersive. It is. Creepy. It's a little creepy. I love it. It's, you guys aren't wrong. You're allowed to have your own opinions. But they just... The artwork is really, really good. Yeah. But Corey, if there's one thing you'd like the least about it. Like the least? Um, well, this is kind of, uh, I, I don't really like really long games. So if this is on my game shelf, I would play it at the, at the two and the three player mark. I probably wouldn't play it at four to five just because there's too many decisions to make there. Um, so it would make the game a lot longer, and that, that's probably that's my, my nitpick. I can see that. Mr. Luscious Lloyd. Um, I guess the thing I like the least is I, I played it at two player and I played it at three player. At two player, the betting comes down to uh, betting three on one and two on the other. And it's a little bit more strategic, but I also think you're a little bit more limited because you have to only bet. Um, like if I bet win on my creature, I'm going to bet loss on the creature that I plan to fight against. Um, so it's it, it's kind of tit for tat, and it, uh, it usually plays out in the same way unless something goes horribly wrong. 
Um, it, it the two player just feels a little bit samey. Like you, yeah. I get I get three cards, you get three cards because we bet the exact opposite, and then we fought exactly what we bet. In three player, you get a little bit more swing, and oh, are you gonna are you gonna fight that creature versus that creature because you're gonna give him three points? And so. I can see how his is dichotomous of yours. It probably plays faster, but it's a little more predictable and a little less adventurous. Yeah, I think the two players just a little bit more. Like I, it, it started to feel kind of the same. I'm gonna do something to you, and it has some take that elements into it. So if you're constantly just hitting the other person in the face. It, I like the ability to hit multiple people in the face. Yeah, I don't know, blame you. I'm an equal opportunity face puncher. puncher. Yeah. yeah. I'm a puncher. <laughs> anyway, I am Patrick. That is Aloy. That is Corey. This is Underly. We're at the Cloak and Blaster. We just got done playing. Please join us again. We'll probably we'll make better videos. Well, we'll try. We'll make an effort to make better videos. If not, I'll put a prong collar on you. Mm. Just like last night. Yeah. Uh, that wear that collar? You've always. <laughs> Prong collars for everyone. <laughs> Everybody get the prong collar.